On a Friday evening in Carlsbad, the streets are alive with people walking, biking, and driving across the tracks that bisect the city. You do have a high uh, degree of uh, walkers and bikers and, and pedestrian activity here in Carlsbad Village. Jason Haber is with the city of Carlsbad. Safety along the railroad corridor is a concern, a primary concern. But little has been done in recent years to increase safety awareness and to limit pedestrian access to the tracks when trains are approaching. One of the busiest and most dangerous of these crossings is here at Grand Avenue. While there are arms that come down on one side to stop oncoming vehicle traffic, on the other, there aren't any, which means pedestrians who are walking in the opposite direction can come across even if a train is approaching. That's not to say it's not obvious, with loud bells and horns when the trains come through. But accidents do happen. Last September, Jason Holzinger was killed here after riding his bike past the crossing arm. Near Tamarack Avenue, Josh Foster was killed last February walking along the tracks. The medical examiner said he was high, but ruled it an accident. In the past five years, the North County Transit District says there have been 11 deadly collisions in Carlsbad. That doesn't include 22-year-old Patrick Terran, who was killed on the tracks at Grand Avenue in 2014 after a night of drinking. His family sued the city of Carlsbad and BNSF Railways, blaming them for inadequate safety measures. But they lost, a jury finding the city was not liable. So what is being done? This project was identified as a city council goal a few years ago. The project Haber is referring to is the double tracking of lines through Carlsbad. There are projections that say in the next 10 years, train traffic is going to double throughout this uh, region. The city has decided it prefers a plan that would trench the tracks. So what would this look like? Well, right now where I'm standing would be about 30 feet underground along with the new double tracks. The road and the sidewalks would go over it, allowing people to walk and drive across without having to stop for oncoming train traffic. Two different trenching alternatives are being considered, a long trench and a short trench. Both would take years to complete, which worries Linda Thomas, who owns Linda's gift shop right behind the tracks. If you cut the parking and you cut getting here, I don't know. She's been there for 27 years, but says significant road closures or impacts to their parking could kill her business. If I lost 25% of what I do now, I couldn't be here. I couldn't pay the rent or the employees. Haber says the city plans to work with businesses to minimize impacts. We will be engaging the community further, as well as really undertaking a conversation with our city council to come up with a, a decision about which way we want to go on this project. Then they need to find the money. The project estimated to cost somewhere between 300 and 400 million dollars. In Carlsbad, Matt Boone, 10 News.